Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? So I would like to get to work on some APCs today and I'm going to use these manila folders that I picked up at the 99 cents for or was it the Dollar Tree? I think it was the I think it was the Dollar Tree. I don't know. But so anyway, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna save this packaging because I like to put my my things in it. And these are really great envelopes to save that you can reuse those. Those are awesome. And it took me a while to create, um, to, uh, it took me a while to start a, a collection of those. Now that I have, I'm happy that I did. So yeah, I'm gonna use these. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm kinda going to do like a springtime thing. These are for the swap. And I wanna do a few, because I wanna add them to some of my things that I have on the Etsy shop. And um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off here. Cut off the edge. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut. I don't think I want these lines on it either, so I'm going to cut those off. Okay, and so yeah, I'm going to we're going to just whip through this. Stuff. Let me see, I want them to be three and a half by two and a half, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off too, just to be on the safe side. We don't that with that. okay, so now let's go ahead and cut. Well. Since we're being perfectionists, let's cut this off too. <laughs> right? Why not? Okay, so we're gonna do three and a half. Right there. That's three and a half. By three and another three and a half. And I'll show you I'm gonna go the long way first. And I'm gonna leave them um, together. I'm not gonna cut the two and a half. I'm not gonna cut them this way yet because I want to do something with these um, so I'm gonna leave them um, you know just to save some time because I know I want them all to be basically the same um, not the same but I have the same mm, the same scheme in mind or theme yeah springtime theme so I want to make them kind of look the same so okay so three and a half one as well and three and a half on this one, and another three and a half. So yeah, ATCs. If you're new here, start for stands for Art Artist Trading Cards, and Artist Trading Cards can be swapped with other artists. And let me show you my collection that I have going, and I'm just I'm so happy about it. So um, yeah, so you might want to start a binder. You might want to have a better binder than this. Someday this binder will be changed. I'm going to alter this binder, but I just haven't had the chance. So as you can see, these are three and a half by two and a half. All of them are the exact same. And they fit into these baseball cards. So they're basically they're the size of a, um, a deck of cards. I think it's three and a half by two and a half. But see my lovely collection. I have Valentine's and I have, um, um, what's that lucky one? You know, St. Patrick's Day. Valentine's and uh, just art cards be fearless believe so see they're just a lot of fun I just a lot of fun a little, little stamps and stencils and Christmas ones so I've been saving these for a while trick-or-treat so yeah this is what artist trading cards are all about somebody did gnomes because they like they like gnomes and I like gnomes so they sent that to me some old-fashioned Halloween, a little baby zine in here. We need to do that. We haven't done that yet. But there you go. So that's what I've been doing to save mine. And I've been hitting the ones that I, I make back here in their own little pocket so that I have, so I know what I've been making. So today I'm doing springtime um, ATCs. And I kind of know what I want to do. So... And I'm just going to use this paper. I mean, because it's, it's, it's it, can, it can be cardstock or sturdy, and I think this is sturdy enough for what I want to do. So, yeah, and what I wanted, and I'm just putting this down because I want to make a mess on it. So, basically, I'm going to be using some of these graphics that I printed out on mine. Not the whole thing, but probably just part of it. Aren't they pretty? There's like a little geranium, and a, I think this is supposed to be a carnation. And this this is this is a geranium girl. This is a peony girl, and this is like a geranium, a pink geranium. My lighting is really terrible today. I apologize, but yeah, it's not so good. 
it's not so good here. But there we go. So I'm going to be using these, but I don't want them just on, you know, I want to make a background and I want it to have some, a little bit of grass and I want to have, to have a little bit of sky. So let me grab some, some of my, this, the sponges, and we'll get rolling. Make some, and then a little bit of white. And then I might make, I'm gonna paint in some flowers, I think. I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna paint in my own little flowers to go with the little flowers, but we'll see. So yeah, and I didn't want to leave these all on one because I obviously want just the grass here. So I mean, I, I mean, I could have done a little different, but this is how my head said do this, you know, so this is how I'm doing it. So yeah. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're doing okay. I'm doing fine. Just, you know, just as good as, Good as can be. I think I should have done the blue first now that I'm doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go ahead and put that over there and do some blue. Because I think the blue can go, the grass can go over the blue better. Gracie's over there. She's probably wondering what I'm doing. I just came home and started working. I had some, um, some important stuff to take care of and I thought, why don't I go, no that's okay. I thought, why don't I go home and get busy and get some of this stuff done that I wanted to. Now, Jessa would have been a good idea, I see, on the back of this, but that's okay. I'm gonna need some white to make some clouds, so I'm, it's all good. And I'm just smooshing it around. Maybe I'll even add in a little bit more blue. You know, yeah, Jessa would probably have been a good idea on here, but again, I'm not all about perfection. You guys know that about me, right? So yeah. You guys know that about me. Oh, and I was going to actually do some um, collage. I forgot. I just wanted, I went straight to the paint, didn't I? <laughs> I could be using my finger. I could be using a brush. I don't mind if I go over this a little bit. I'm going to go over that green again, too. So, yeah, I just want a spring, spring thing. Like a little spring theme, you know? That's what I have going in my mind. That's not too bad. Oh, pretty. A little spring, springy, springy idea. Might not have to put white in there if I leave the background kind of. Okay, Gracie. <laughs> There's that. There's Gracie making a mess. It was my ATC book. It went flying and that's fine. I don't mind. It's not hurt. I'm not going to freak out. Try not to freak out, you know what I mean? Life is already full of enough drama. Oh, and somebody sent me some ATC, um, I think they're in one of their, I don't think I pulled them out of the envelope yet, but somebody sent me some things, but I might not be, have a chance to use them if I can't find them. But yeah, you back your ATCs with something. Not pretty. Very springy. Yeah, I'll put the back on last in case there's any, you know, mess on the back. We don't want that. So. And yes, I was going to put some um, collage underneath this to give it a little bit more interest, but that's okay. That's okay. The girl's going to hide most of it because they're big images that I plan on using, which is fine. Which is fine. I love that color. I actually really do. So yes, if you're not in the swap on online, go get into the swap. It's on uh, Don on uh, the Facebook group. Uh, Let's make a mess with Don today. And uh, Sam, Sam, our Sam, Sam Owen, Samantha Owen, Samantha Dean Owen, posted it for us. So I think it's underway now. So you might want to get over there and see what you can get. See what kind of trouble you can get into. <laughs> it's a lot of fun be a fun swap. So yeah. Adding another little bit of something to this because it dried and now it's gonna add a little bit more texture. I guess I'm not missing the collage in the background to be quite honest with you. I mean I, I like these kind of clean like this to be quite honest. I really actually do. But I am gonna get another blue and just kind of smush it in there. I think. Yeah, as well as another green. So let me go grab another blue. It's pretty though, isn't it? 
Well, it looks like spring time and bunnies already, doesn't it? Hey, Gray. What you doing? Are you hiding? Did you scare yourself? Mm-hmm. Just be still. Mm, I got to have like a, I don't know, summer sky. Let's try this. It looks pretty light, but it's all right. It's pretty light. It's not much difference. Let's just see. Let's just see what it does. Maybe a light is what we need. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty. Pretty. Super pretty. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm pretty. So. Let's do a little bit of this. It looks more wispy. Boy, Crazy loves to get into everything, doesn't she? And there, believe me, there's a lot to get into in this room if you try. There's a lot to get into if, if she wants to. I'm telling you. Silly kitty. Silly kitty. I just saw a piece of Gracie's hair in here. Which reminds me, if you guys are ordering anything off of Etsy, don't uh, don't order if you're allergic to kitties, because this is her house. She lives here. <laughs> she rules the roost. So. Yeah. There's one more blue sky. One more. I like making sky like this. It's kind of interesting. And, you know, it's not... It's far from perfect. And I don't know. I don't know. It kind of looks like a swirly sky. It's a little interesting. That's fine. Okay, so that's that green. I do not. I do want another green. I do like this green. I don't mind it, but I do want kind of another one. I don't know what you want. Apple tart. Mint. Sage. I like the sage green. I think that's a pretty green. I think those two together will look will look good. So since that's that way, I'm going to do this a little different. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to dry brush up something. Like, I'm going to use this one because, I mean, I know it's probably not the right brush, but it's, it's icky, you know? And that's just what I want like that. Just perfect, you know? Just some grassy looking. Don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I'm just baking it right now, so yeah. Perfect. It's perfect for me. Let's see. A bit of grass. So we need to do that again. By using a dry brush, though, you're, it makes these stay separated. I saw that somewhere. I don't know if you can see. See that, how they're separate? And that's kind of how I want to make it, how I want it to do. I want it to do that so that it's not, you know, so that it's grass. Blades of grass. There you go. See? That 
looks like something, <laughs> I guess. So let me do like one more. And then, yeah, go from there. Oh, I hope that was, can't hear my tummy, I hope. I'm not hungry, just, just digesting, I guess. So I hope everybody had an enjoyable weekend and Easter. I enjoyed hanging out with my kid for a minute. That was fun. I really enjoyed that a lot. I really did. I, I needed my fix. And then these will get thicker because I will be I will be adding um, Mod Podge definitely to these to make them thicker and you know add a little bit of shine you know oh that's pretty and then I want to add my own little um, my own little um, what do you call it I think I'm not gonna put that away yet I think I'm gonna leave it out even if it gets all dry cracky I don't even care you know. These I might want to put in there so they don't get all icky. All right, so we have these. Okay, now, since we have the basic on here, actually what I'd like to do is just add some flowers. Oh boy, let's see. I guess I'll use these. This. This might be too big. Oh. Yeah, that's too big. I bought these flower brushes off of Amazon, but I haven't used them yet. I haven't had a chance. I, I'm so busy, I haven't had a chance to do thing, the flower thing that I want to do. Why is that icky? But it's okay because I'm doing lots of other stuff, you know? So that's okay with me. Alright, so this should be okay. So let me grab some pinks. Some pinks. Pretty pinks. Maybe the metallic pink. This to maybe make some stems. But here, let's just use these. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we're doing. I should have brought my um my uh paint, my uh, what you call them? You know those things that I bought? Markers, but they're at work because I'm still practicing with my lettering at work, you know. Is this okay? This is okay, right? And this little tiny flowers. And I'm just faking it. You know what I mean? Just really good. It might look better if I did these after I put the thing on so I'd know where they go. But that's alright, I'll just do them all the way across and then here and there. Add, I can add more later. Just putting in them in like some bunches, you know. Little bunches here and there. So what's been going on with you guys? I did a quick live stream, but I want to do another one, but I want to do it here, you know. That was like when I was out for my walk real quick. This is going to be pretty or metallic. So yeah, I want to do another one here. I say I don't like to do them, but I, I, I know that you guys like them, and I want, I want you to be happy too, so. And I don't, actually, I don't hate them, so. I'm just not, I don't feel like I'm very good at them. So, yeah. Mm, pretty little flowers. Little itty bitty flowers. I don't know if you can see. Okay. 
think you can. I, is that better? No, that's even worse. Oh, my lighting. You guys, how can you? Here. Is that better? There we go. Probably would help if I would hold them still, too, right? I like this little brush. It's pretty. It's fun. So you don't get any spring, spring, more springier than this, right? Spring has almost sprung, except for a couple of people. I, oh my gosh, I saw some pictures of a snowstorm today. Um, I think it was Janet. Oh my goodness, Janet, that looked crazy. I haven't seen anything like that since I went to it on purpose, and it was just a, barely a sprinkle up at Arrowhead. Oh, and the day after I left Portland, um, let's see, in December, last this last time, um, it snowed the next day. I'm so, so bummed. I was like, really? We leave and it snows. I guess that's good for travel, but not so good if you really wanted to see some snow. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side and do a couple more like that. Yeah, just to add a little bit of flour. Flour and sugar, a little bit of sweet sugar here. Oh, you guys, I got so much coming down the pike. So yeah, I'm gonna try to fill up my Etsy store you guys are going to get tired of me talking about it, but I need to fill up my Etsy store. I need to put some stuff in there. So I put some really cute bags in there. I hope you guys like them. Um, they're just really awesome vintage t-shirts that I found at some thrift stores. And then I just sewed the bottom. So they're sewn. They're not, they're not the kind that are tied on the bottom. They're actually sewn. And I'll do a video and show them to you. Um, but they're great for book bags, art supplies, whatever, you know, they're, and they're, they're so cool for like grocery store, leave them in your car for trash. I don't know about that, but I mean, they're not ugly, you know, so they're really neat. And so, yeah, so I have, I have those, uh, I have three of them cause I can only find three. I have had that Hollywood t-shirt for a couple months and I knew I wanted to do that. And then the other day on, while I was at on um line or when i was out thrift shopping i saw the inspired one that and i have i actually have that t-shirt so but i didn't want to cut it up but now that i found another one i thought oh okay there we go good so i did another one um and then i found one that says clean life with a tree and that tree reminds me of the tree of life so i love that one so i'm always i'm just trying to pick really cool you know, really cool t-shirts to do that with. Not just random t-shirts, but I'm picking them out because I think that they're kind of cool, right? So yeah, mm, pretty little flowers. So I'm gonna add a few more little flowers in there and then I'm gonna add some little, um, um, some uh, leaves, leaves and some, um, what do you call it? Leaves and stems, stems, sticks and stems. <laughs> Just kidding. So yeah. Anyway, this is a great way to make little cutesy little flowers in a hurry, isn't it? Just, I love this. I'm having fun. So I hope you guys are joining me. After you watch this, go grab some, or just stop it right now and just go grab a bunch of paint and join me. You know. And later I have to do some jelly print stuff because I've got an idea for some jelly prints that I want to do. So yeah. I can't wait to stop working so I can actually just do a bunch of stuff. Because you know, can you tell I always just, I have a lot of ideas and not, I never enough time to do any of them. But I feel like a kid who actually I wanted to do art as a kid and I didn't get to do much because we didn't have, you know, art supplies would have been like, wow, really? I mean, I had some teachers that would one, a couple of times would encourage me and give me things. And I actually, there was an oil painter down the street. He was really nice. He gave me a bunch of paints one time and it was canvas and said, go paint whatever you want and bring it back. And I actually think he bought it. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, because he was just that kind of a person. I'll never forget him. His name was Walter Lamar. And he was a neighbor, you know, he lived up the street and I saw him painting one time. And of course, you know, I was like, oh, what are you doing? You know, and then it was, it was just so cool, you know, just so, so cool. And then he just, 
you know, I couldn't believe it. I, I remember when I saw him um, uh, use a, uh, what do you call it, a, um, a, a spatula to spread oil paint. I was like, oh, that's magic. <laughs> I remember that like it was yesterday. I was still, I haven't oil painted since. I mean, you know, I've barely ever painted since, so. But oil painting, well, that would be, that would be something else to do. My neighbor Helene oil paints, I've showed you some of her work. Or that one thing that she made me and gave me, which is so sweet. Which reminds me, I came home today and there was a little Easter thing down from, downstairs from her. Isn't that sweet? She still is, oh, boy, I'm never gonna use all that. But that's okay, this is gonna get um, jelly plated on. So, okay, that one's not dry enough. So yeah, I'm gonna add, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Maybe just uh, add some more like little yellow ones. Yeah, there we go. I just want some, some, just a little bit more color. Not a lot, you know, just a sporadic. See, like so. It shows up better on the green, doesn't it? There we go. Yeah, see, just a little extra something, something. Very springy. Anyway, so well, yeah, I got home today. There was a little, did I tell you, there was a little something from her on the patio. It was so cute. So, And she's Jewish, so that was very sweet of her to think about me. Oh. Yeah. But I did. Hopefully that's where one of my my flower girls will go. So some pink and yellow flowers here and there. <laughs> So I picked up a bunch of stuff from the um, post office and I need to open some mail. So I have gotten a lot of stuff here, so I'm gonna do that shortly, as soon as I can. So, you know if you sent me something, I probably received it. So I just wanna get this done because I need to make these ATCs number one for my swap. And I'm gonna need to make some more um, for my um, Etsy store to put in. Well, that was a big messy flower, wasn't it? I don't really like that flower, but what are you gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna make it like so. There we go. Um, so yeah, I like to put some some swaps, some um, ATCs in my 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 Etsy store. Um, Purchase, purchases, orders, I guess is the word I'm looking for. There we go. Can you hear the birds? I don't know if you can. The window's closed, but boy, they sure are chirping up a storm. Sounds pretty. That's it. Okay. So there's that. Let me put that in there and let me brush that into the page. We'll grab another one of these real, real quick, you guys, so that we can, yeah, oh, it's just, no, oh, yeah, let me grab another one of these pieces of paper. I'm going to be doing some jelly plate printing, and I know about that I'm cut off. Right. It was cut off for some weird reason. Okay, so let me 
just go ahead. Okay, so where I am right now is I'm just getting ready to, I think, add some of the green Sorry about to that. these as little stems. Yeah. But I'm not going to go okay. overboard with it for Fresh sure. One? I don't even know if I want to use this particular. Um, or do I, I think there's such thing as like this line drawer. I think I want to use this line drawer. I think that's what this is for. And this one might be too thick, so I'm just going to stick that back in there. And rinse that off. Get that going. Yeah, see, I think these are line drawers, right? So, and I want it to be, I mean, so, like, so thin. Like, super. Like, I don't even want, like, I just want to go, like, right? Like, like, barely. Yeah, just not even, just barely, just like that. Like, barely. I don't know if you can see it so so subtle, you know? So subtle. Super, super subtle. Okay, maybe that's a little too subtle, but I'm scared. <laughs> mm, that's alright. Maybe that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's not. It's not perfect. And I should actually be going this way to it, because, like I saw on somewhere, they say it's thinner as it gets to the stem, not the other way around. You know what I mean? So I should be going like that. No, well, that's okay. That's a, that's a leaf. <laughs> we meant to do that, right? So just, I maybe mean, it's this color. I don't know. So I'm just gonna. You know, I don't know. Just. And maybe this color's not perfect, but I don't care. It's fine. That's all I want to do. I don't like the color. I think the grass green color is really wrong. But. Once I get things on it, so let's just let's just go with this for a second. Let's just pretend that's just right, because I think once we get the um, uh, Mod Podge and the picture and all that, it might just be just right. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. And if it's not dry, that's okay. If it gets a little smeary, I'm not I'm not hating it. So two and a half. So there we go. So two and a half. There's one. Let's get at least get three out of this, right? I'm gonna make sure I get these flowers in there because I like them. There's two. Okay, so maybe not. Well, that's a little less. So that's okay. That's gonna be something else. So we got two out of that. That's okay. So. Let's go ahead and do these two. And now I want to cut uh, one of these and one of these out. So these are from the Graphic Fairy and they're free to download. I ha can't afford to join her club. Um, but boy, if I could, I sure would. Because, oh my goodness, her, oh, some of the pictures in there, oh my goodness. If anybody's a, if anybody on here is a uh, member, oh, you're so lucky. So, so lucky. She's got all these wonderful places, wonderful things to cut out and um, using your art. And she says you can resell it as long as it's not, you know, and most of her stuff is not copyright. She pretty much guarantees it, but then she says, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. You know, that's kind of how it is. So, yeah. So, that's a nice site she has. She's a nice lady. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to do like a couple of these cards today, and then you'll see where it's going. And then um, I will finish, finish the other ones. Um alone, I mean by myself, and I'll watch 
some videos or something on TV. Not TV, because I mean, my TV's not even plugged in. But. Or maybe I'll do some more live. I don't know. I want to do a live thing. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for it. So maybe I'll just do some more of these, you know? If you want. I don't know. Isn't she cute? I'm going to go around her, though. I don't know with what, though. Maybe I'm not, because I don't want to get her dirty. You know, I don't want her to look dirty. So I'm just going to go ahead and put her... Oh, she's really cute. Isn't that cute? Just the whole... I, don't, I was just going to do, like, half of it, but I love it just like that. She's darling. Oh, it's so cute, my little spring girl. And then I've got some words that I printed out online. So... Can use some of those. And it doesn't have to be perfect. She's super cute. Isn't that cute? That's springy, right? And I think this one look, would look really cute with rounder edges and more feminine. So let's do that. Well, no, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to wait to do that till I have, because I'm going to back it. So I'm going to wait till I have the back on it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to um, mod. I'm not going to mod podge this. I'm using a glue stick. To glue stick this down, um, and then later I'll go over it with Mod Podge. But glue stick won't bubble. So when you're doing your images, if you use a little bit of glue stick, isn't she cute? I'll put her off to the side a little bit. She looks like she's looking behind her. Yeah, she's got that come hither, come hither. <laughs> isn't she cute? Look at my. <laughs> I love that though. I love it when my hands get like that. She's cute. I'm not sure if I want to go around it with dark or not. I'm really not sure. I'm just not sure. I might. I don't think I want to. I want to keep it nice and light. I just really do. And I'll just I'm add a word. And you know what I could do, you know? You know? What I really am going to do, like right now that we're watching, is I'm going to take some of this blue and see where that parasol is and I didn't cut that off. I'm going to put some blue there so it looks like it's not, you know. It's going to go like so. Right? There. So then it, you can't see the paper. That looks way more better. Way more better, right? Super cute. I might go around her with pink. Well, let's just get our word and see what we're going to do. So, for the words that I chose for my summer is bloom, delightful, refresh, renew, and sweet. And for her, I think I'm going to use the word delightful. Because she is delightful. So, yeah, I don't know if this is considered mixed media e, but it's cute to me. I think it's delightful. Right? Isn't she cute? And then we could put like a little pink, pink bling on it or something. If I wanted to bling it up, but I really actually don't want to do that either. I really, you know, you guys, I like simple. I don't know if you know that, notice that about me, but I do. I like simple. But what I might do is add a couple more flowers like in front of her, you know, to make it look like there's flowers in front of her. I'll paint some over the top of her. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint some flowers over the top of her. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make her more delightful. Oh, here's Gracie. Come and say hi. Come and say hi, Gracie. No? She just wants to go in the window and that's okay. So there. Isn't she delightful? I think she is. Super cute. You guys see her? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paint a couple of little flowers on her. You know, just to make it look like like she's standing in the, in the flowers. That's what I want to do. So I'll bring like this one forward. You know, put one up here. 
See how she's standing in the flowers. I'll do a yellow one. Or some yellow ones. Some yellow ones. Mm, not that yellow. And see, those green don't look so bad. That green, now that it's... Um, you know... Hi, Gray. How you doing? There's no room over here for you. There's no room. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Oh, she's so soft, you guys. I love this cat. Mm. But you know what, Gracie? You have to get down. There's no room, baby. There you go. <sighs> what is that old lady noise that we make when we we're having to do that? <laughs> like, what is that? I guess it's our sound effects, huh? We have to do sound effects. It's funny. Our sound effects are funny. There we go. Maybe one up here. There. So she looks like she's standing in a bunch of flowers. There we go. So there we go. That wasn't no big deal. That wasn't no big thing. Now let's put some more green. Green with this liner. This is called the liner brush, I believe. Pencil? Liner? Pencil? Something like that. Let me, let me get rid of this real quick. I don't know how many of these. I'll probably just do a couple of these right now and then actually put the stuff away and then I'm going to get busy doing some jelly plating that I want to share with you. So I might start another video real quick just to show you. Just to show you how I'm doing it. Okay, good enough. I am not good at that stuff at all, but I'm trying. I'm a trying. I'm a trying. Okay, so there's that. Now I'd like to go ahead and put some Mod Podge on there as soon as it dries. Isn't she cute? And then I'll back it. I'll back it. I'll back it. No, what am I going to back? I'll back it with some music sheets because I think that's pretty and springy. Or maybe just some pretty, no, I'll just pack it with some, maybe some of this. Because that's pretty good. It's hard to put your name on. And then I love that, I love that French paper. So I don't want to put it on the back of an ATC. So, I'll find something. Maybe just some plain pink. Okay, so. So let's let that dry for a second while I try to find some pretty pink paper. It's got to be plain so you can write your name on it, you know, that helps. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Okay, we'll use this. How's that? It's actually perfect. So, yeah. Me and 
my glue stick will travel, right guys? Me and my glue stick. Remember that song back in the day, Me and My Arrow? Straight up and narrow. Remember that song? I actually loved that song when I was a kid. <laughs> Me and my arrow. I haven't heard that song in years. But, um... It'd be me and my glue stick. Yeah. I am so weird. Okay. That is so cute. If I don't say so myself. Now that I have it backed, um, I don't, I'm not even sure I want to cut it. I, I actually like it square because it just looks like a, it looks like an old postcard. Doesn't that to you? Looks like an old postcard. So let's let that do that. And let's go ahead and put on some, some Mod Podge. I'm waiting to do the Mod Podge before I do the um, going around the delightful. And I'm, I think I'm just gonna take a nice white or a light pink or something around the sides. Probably a white. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Mm -hmm. Use this one for the Mod Podge. Get some of the water out. Yeah, it's pretty shiny. I like it shinier. Looks better. Not pretty in the back too. Don't need that. Don't need that back there. Don't need to Mod Podge at the back. But this will make the flowers pop and make it the colors pop. Oh, so cute. My little piece of art. See, that's what ATCs are for those of you. They're just little tiny two and a half, two and a half by five and a half inch pieces of art for you to share with your friends, with other artists. Oh, my baby. Like my. My lighting, you guys. Yeah, this isn't a professional outfit, but if you're new, yeah, that's 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 this. But so while that's drying, why don't I go ahead and cut out my other little girl? I want to use which one do I want to use? I'm really tempted to use this girl, and then I could throw some red flowers on there. Actually, let's wait to do that one. Don't I have another pink one? Yeah, I'll use this pink one. And then I'll make them with some red flowers on the other ATCs. So let's, we'll, use, we'll use one of these. Little carnation girl. You know. And then I'll make one with red flowers for the other girl. For the car, with for the other girl. So yeah. I'm trying to do a little bit better uh, fussy cut than I normally do. I'm not a very good fussy cutter at all. So, you know. Oh well. So yeah, go join the swap for the ATCs. There's lots to do online right now. Go join the swap for the ATCs. Go to uh, Rosemary Morris's page and do the the uh, challenge with the three line novel book that we did. That was fun. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. Not sure I'm gonna be able to do it monthly, but um, do as many as I can because I really do need to get stuff up on my Etsy shop for sale. Because truth is, guys, I need to make two thousand dollars by June. So, um, I either got to sell, sell, sell. That's a lot to sell. That isn't going to happen. I get it. Or I have to get a part-time job. Or I have to, um, I'm going to have to work all my, my days off if I can. Or I just have to, I'm got, I have to go real cheap on everything for a while. So, um, yeah, I have a lawyer fee that's coming up. And if I don't pay him his fee, he's not going to finish something for me. I can't really get to... Um, too personal, you know. I mean, but that's what it is. I, I'm, yeah. And then I that stupid car I just had to register, and my kid needs a uh, some help up north. And 
things are coming at me fast right this second. So I thought, well, I'm going to sell what I can. I'm going to get some journals up and get them fun. And my journals sell pretty quick. But I am going to actually kind of raise the price of them too. So, I mean, like yesterday I was online and I saw this one person sold some stuff. Her her kit was $65. I was like, whoa, mine's only 30 so, I mean, you know, it depends on what you like, I guess. I mean, hers is beautiful. I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, yeah, they're just different. That's all. But I'm not going to pay. I'm not going to spend. I'm not going to charge $65. Not even close. Um, so, yeah. But if you don't feel like there's enough in the kit, please just let me know what else you want to see in there for yourself. And I will customize it with no, you know, obviously with no extra charge. Say, hey, you know, I noticed that you make these. Can you add a couple of those in the kit for me? You know, and I'll buy it. You know, that's all you have to do. If you see something on there you want, let me know. Just please let me know, and I will be happy to, um, if I can either make it without taking a million years, you know, not too, too time-consuming, or if I can, um, if I don't have to buy it, I will be happy, 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 happy to put some in there for you. Isn't she cute, too? So, yeah, these are adorable. Yes, I love them. These are my spring girls. So I thought, what am I going to do for the spring? I told I told everybody we want to do spring, and I'm like, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> and then I, I thought, oh, these are cute. So yeah, this works. This works for me. Is that on there? Yeah. That works. That works nicely. See how nice and flat that's laying now that it's got the backing and the, and the ATC on and the um, the Mod Podge as well. It's, and it's just thicker and nicer. It just, you know. So, yeah. So, now let's go ahead and add a few more flowers to this little one. Actually, we don't really need to. She's got enough. I just need to add a little bit of blue to that little mark right there. She's got plenty of flowers. Um, but, I don't know. Maybe I do. Yeah, I think I do need to add a couple of flowers to her because it looks like there's a couple behind her, but nothing in front. So, yeah. I mean, it looks fine, but I can't really tell. What did I do with that other brush? I lost my liner brush, you guys, just now. And it's not, it's not in here. Where did I put it? Did I drop it? Well, I'll have to find that before I can move forward. How weird. It was just like right here. It's not there. It's not in here. It's not in the jar. Yeah, it's not in the jar. And I didn't put it back in here. How does one lose a brush when they don't leave the table? I ask you. How did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? Hmm. All right, it must have dropped. I don't know how. It could have, but I don't know. All right, let me pause this for a minute while Guys, I took me a minute, fill in the trash. That's what happened. It fell in the garbage. So let's go ahead and do a couple of more. Let's do some yellow. Let's do some yellow ones because I think they'll pop out better. Yeah. Maybe a couple like right here maybe. Maybe one right here. Yellow. I think that's good. And then I'll just add some more of this green. I don't really, I think her, I think she's, I'll just, oh, you know what I should do? I should put the, a pink spot on her just to make this one bring, bring that one forward. You know what I mean? That's fine. I'm using the wrong brush for this. That's what's going on too. That's not, this is not the brush to be doing flowers. That's okay. Ugh, and I just smeared. I just smeared my little yellow flower. How badly did I smear it? Not too bad. That's all right. So let's just add a little bit more green and then pray that I don't wreck it anymore. But I do need to use some blue up there. So.
think that's good. Oh. Good enough. And it'll always look better with a little bit of um, um, Mod Podge on there. So, back in the brush. I wonder how many things I've thrown away in my day that I didn't mean to throw away, right? Probably quite a few. Okay, so then we have... Which one did I use? Okay, this one. So, so I have plenty for some more. I really love these. They'll be a pretty little set, you know, to send it out to everybody. So everybody kind of knows what my ATCs are going to look like if I stick with this plan. So you never know. I might change my mind. I might just change my mind and do something else. So All right, that's just... that. Well, that le it looks like a petal. Oh, you know what? She'd be cute holding a flower. <gasps> oh my gosh, she'd be so cute holding a flower. I wonder if I can pull that off. I'm going to try. I'm going to try it. Let's try to pick pull that off, you guys. <laughs> I'm silly, but I'm going to try it. So I'm going to put this on first. We're just going to have it like this. Like so. Right? Yeah, that's not terrible. And then we'll put a little put a little flower in her hand. It should be a yellow one, right? To make it look like she's picking off yellow leaves. And that's what that will be. <laughs> See? I made the accident work for us, you guys. We have to make that accident work for us. Oops. I've wasted so much paint today just now. See that? See that? I like this little brush. These are um, plaid. They're flat. Six, two, six, eight, ten, twelve, three, fours in and in scruffy one, four, three. Oh, this is must be the scruffy three fourths inch and uh, script liners. That's what this is. I think no, that's what this is. This might be a script liner too. I don't know my brushes. Yeah, it says liner. So, but it's working. It's working for this for me. So, good enough. You know. So. See, it looks like she's picking him off. Isn't that cute? I think that worked out quite well. It really did. It worked out really well. Not hating it. Oh, I should have added a little bit more leaf to the to the stem, but that's okay. The stems aren't perfect, and she already picked them off. How's that? She already picked them off. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, so let's let that dry while we find our word and find our word. I think her word will be bloom. Don't you? Or sweet. I think bloom. Because she has a bloom in her hand. So we're going to go with bloom. So yeah, it's a really easy thing to do is to go online. And um, this is an 11 font, I think. And also, you can find words in your um, magazines and... You know, really small print in magazines, that really helps. So yeah, oh, that's cute. So just bloom, just perfect. Just fine. Super duper cute. I don't even know if I wanna line these because I like the fact that they're so light. I don't know, I think putting black on the page just might I mean, somebody might think it would look good, but I just think it would just be dark. You know, I, maybe I don't want them to stick out that much. Maybe I want them to just kind of, you know, I don't know. I'm funny about that stuff. So let's let that dry for a second. But I do think I do want to go around it with some, I have this shiny white right here. And I think this is pretty. So yeah, I've just decided I'm not going to, no, this is not the shiny white. 
This is regular white, but I did bring out some shiny white, I thought. So maybe I grabbed this instead. Hold on one second, you guys. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute, little, little girls. This is that Metallics Texture Paste, but it's not really a, um, it's not really a texture paste. It's really thin. So, yeah, I'm just going to try to smoosh this around. Yeah. There we go. You'll probably be seeing this in my jelly plate um, video. So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, this is not really a texture pa paste, and I got this on sale a, years, a year ago, right? Well, it says 2015, but I must have got it at least in 2017 on sale. And it's thick, it's a nice thick paint, but it's not a texture paste. Um, it's just, I think that's why it didn't sell and that's why it went on sale because it was uh, very uh, thin if for a texture paste. So let's just click that on there. See like so, just, I mean if I get a little messy with it, you know me, I'm not gonna really care. But see, this the white just adds a little something to it, you know. Let's see, uh oh, too much, too much. I love it. Try not to be as messy as me. Actually, you can be as messy as you want to be. <laughs> for reals. Um, that's the best part of mixed media, you guys, is you can't really make a mistake. And if you make a mistake, just repeat it, and it'll look like you meant it. <gasps> that is so cute. The white worked out perfectly for her. All right, so let's go ahead and put a backing on here. Let's back this girl. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and just use that. I don't care that it had a little, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to waste paper and throw it away because it has a crease in it. It's a back, so it doesn't matter. I don't think whoever's going to get this is going to care either. Or these might be the two that I keep since they're the first ones I did. Because, um, yeah, this needs a little bit of glue here. But the Mod Podge would have always kept it down too. Yeah, this might go in my my collection of the ones that I'm... Because I'm keeping one or two here and there. The ones that I do. Because I, I want to remember what... Because I wasn't keeping them for a while. I wasn't keeping any of my stuff. I was sending it all out and not keeping anything. I'm like, well, I should probably keep something. You know, like an example, example of what I've done. So I've been starting to do that. And it's kind of nice to have my own little page in the ATC collection book. Yeah. My cute, super cute. Okay, so let's go ahead. And now this is gonna be mine, so I'm not gonna worry about that little tiny edge. So let's go ahead and put on my Mod Podge. And, uh, yeah. A little bit of Mod Podge. This is a long video, I'm sorry I didn't mean it to be this long, but I know some of you guys don't mind my long videos. Some of you don't mind, you're cool about it. I love that little flower she's picking. I'm trying to get my thumb out of the way. Can you? Isn't she cute? Like, oh, so cute. That flower just made this one, right, guys? Don't you think? Like, what else would she be doing with her hands? Right? Just fits. Okay, and as soon as that dries, I will add some of the texture paste to it but you don't need to hang out to see that because you already know what that's going to look like if you look at this one so there you go so there you have it i hope you enjoyed this spring atc um video this is what mine are probably going to look like or something very similar so i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you're looking forward to the swap and again go on um uh Let's Make a Mess Today with Dawn on Facebook. Let's Make a Mess Today with Dawn, yeah. 
And then also um, check out the Etsy shop. Look at those bags that I made. They're fun. They're only eight bucks. Oh, and I'm gonna probably add a little something, something, something in them. Just a little something, a little gift. So let me know how it's going, you guys. And um, I will talk to you really soon. I hope you like this. Okay, bye, guys.